Charleston White said in more than one interview, he don't believe in karma. And if we don't believe in karma, we don't believe in God's word. And God's word teaches us we reap what we sow. Everything we do is a seed and it will grow a harvest in our life. And whatever we do, we don't get it right away. But down the line, we will get back what we sow. If we, uh, if we sow tomato seeds, we're not going to get oranges. We're going to get tomatoes. And so Charleston White said, all the good things he done for people, he didn't get anything back, but just felt used. Now, Charleston White does a lot of community work, help a lot of kids. And just because he don't get the result from the people he helped, you have been blessed with a platform. You have been blessed to make money with your words. You're not in a warehouse 12 hours a day breaking your back. It's a lot of people who love you. And so I believe those are tied to the seeds that you sow in kids and people's life and you reap the harvest. Now, on the other hand, Charleston White has been pistol whipped. Charleston White has been attacked. Charleston White just got jumped at his comedy show. And just like those good seeds that you sow, that you reap the good harvest from, all the negativity, all the threatening people, all the uh, disrespect to people, those are seeds that you sow in the universe. So you're going to reap the harvest of that. And so when a man say he don't believe in karma, you don't believe in God's word. You reap what you sow. And so when we see you getting jumped at the comedy show, when we see you getting pissed and whipped and pressed and pushed and stuff like that, you sow those seeds of being disrespectful to people. And so I use everything as a teaching moment and not to bash Charleston White, but it's a teaching moment to the other people who watching this or the people who like Charleston White or even listening to me. We might not believe in karma, the word karma. I did good to you, so you're going to do good back to me. It don't work like that. Scripture teaches us when you give, it be given to you. But just because you gave to that person don't mean that they going to be the person who give back and be a blessing to you. But it's going to come when you least suspect it from, when you le from someone you least suspect it from. And just like the bad things we do, just because we got over on this person, we might prosper from it. We might not get the results right away. But down the line, we going to get repaid. Probably not when we expected or who we expected it from. And so we might be like, look at all the dirt P. Diddy did all this and he just prospered for it. But now look at the seeds. We might say Bill Cosby did all that in the 70s and he just became a billionaire. But whatever we do, we'll get back. And so we got to be mindful of that. And I just don't want anyone to listen to Charleston White Word, don't believe in karma, and just do what you want and just mess over people and thinking, it ain't no karma. We get everything we do back, probably not to the person we do it to or when we expect it to happen, but we gonna reap everything we sow for real.